Kieran, a bit of a lengthy break after that whole result. I imagine you'd have liked to strike while the iron's hot after that. Such a fantastic yeah. result as that was and performance. Yeah, yeah, it was a really good night. Um, I think a lot of things just went for us and clicked. Uh, tough opponent, obviously. Um, but, you know, everybody applied themselves really well, really stepped up, which we challenged them to do. Again, I mentioned before, we set some targets over that, those last five games of the season. And... You know, it was a really, really good performance, uh, some really good goals as well. So, really pleasing night. And then, yeah, I think I said after the game that, that we didn't really want the break. Uh, we played a behind closed doors friendly at the weekend, which was really, really good. Um, allowed us to have a look at a few things, uh, make sure the players are maintained as well, appropriately. Um, in preparation for sort of three really key games for us leading into you know, a new season, a new start. I think we knew how strong the whole team was, but the fact that they've gone top of the league since that game just kind of reflects how big a result that, that was for, for the Belgians. Yeah, I think so, and it was a good indication of where we're at. Um, like I said before, when we've come in in November and we knew the expectations, we knew where we were at, um, I knew very quickly the challenges that we, that we had ahead of us. Uh, there was a lot of things we wanted to change. And we have done that and it's been really successful um, internally. We know there's a lot of things that have gone on that I've said previously externally people don't see. Um, creating a different vibe around the place, ready for a kick on next, next season. Uh, I said after the whole game that they probably will, with their games in hand, we're in pole position to, to go on and win the league. Um, so great for us to come up against opposition like that and compete because that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to compete and, and you know, have things go our way and get, get a result and, a, and a, you know, an emphatic result, really. Uh, so um, we knew that the game was going to be tough at that time. Uh, but I, I think we, we performed really, really well, which gives the girls confidence leading into these games, knowing that they can compete against top teams um, in this league and be competitive and, and search and strive for... Uh, for the top end uh, we knew that mathematically it was unrealistic when we came in that we could achieve that um, because of the, the results that, 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 that came before us but it's all about leading into what we can do next year which is going to be massively competitive and, and challenging again but we, we have to keep moving forward and progress and we have to see that progression as well they have to feel it and, and that allows us all to as a collective, create that, that culture of ambition and competitiveness and, um, and support, but also of high standards and performance. So as much as what you're setting yourselves up for for next season on the pitch and in terms of performance, there's a lot of it upstairs in, in the head as well for, for among the group. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, sometimes we disregard the importance of that. Um, we sometimes just see the what we see on the field in terms of just a football game um, and success is always a culmination of a lot of different factors um, I think what you see in terms of the output of the players and you know tactically technically whatever is is a product of a lot of things internally um, preparation commitment attitude uh, pride in performance um, standards setting yourself personal standards and, and we as a as a club have tried to um breed a culture of of setting that bar really high and trying to create that and find the balance i must admit of what we find acceptable and unacceptable but in, but but not in a crude way not in a um not in a way that's going to have a negative impact as such uh, and be really forceful with it. It's more about, listen, this is what we want to do as a club. We want a collective group that are on board with that. We know that things change in the game season upon season. Players go out, players come in. That's just a natural process. And I'm trying to challenge the girls to really show who wants to be a part of what we feel will be something really positive next season. Listen, regardless of what happens in terms of results or... Um, league tables or whatever uh, you know that's inconsequential in terms of what the actual key components are that we want to achieve uh, next next season that, that 
that we have to breed into as many games as we can now at the back end of this season to, to build that momentum. Um, I feel if we get those things right that we're looking for, then I'm a big believer that the results will come and the performances will be there and we have to understand what success looks like. And you know, with any division, especially the league that we're in, where only one team is deemed successful every year because there's only one team that goes up, I, do, I, I think it, it would be remiss to, to, to use that as a, f, a gauge factor of success because then are we, are we arguing that everybody else is doing, the, you know, uh, the, other, the other teams uh, in the league that don't get that, is, is it a complete failure? We have to balance that out and understand what those variables are that, 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 that success looks like for us. We're clear on them. Uh, we're setting new standards for next year, new structures. Um, and like I say, if we can, if we can continue to build and grow like we have done, then success will be there. Um, it's just hard to say what that will look like at this stage. Next up, FC United of Manchester here at the Eco Power Stadium. What are you expecting from this game? Yeah, I suppose a broken record, really. We know it's going to be a tough game. Um, you know, for me, league positions mean little. Um, they're fighting for to stay in the division and uh, it's a must win game for them and um, I do think uh, that to their credit since the turn of the year mostly their results have been they've been there or thereabouts in games in terms of the result um, and one or two that go a different way for them it's a different conversation so we have to be very mindful of that um, and we can't be complacent either we have been complacent this season and that's caught us up um, which I suppose is good for this instance because we, we'll, you know, we'll be prepared to make sure that we're ready for it. Uh, we always try to build through the week an attitude of what we want to go into at the weekend. So nothing really changes in terms of that, but like you have alluded to, the psychological aspect of towards the end of the season, um, complacency can kick in. I haven't really seen too much of that with us, but it's for us as staff, it's important that we continue to hammer it down the importance of preparing in the right way and, and going into games with an attitude that if we turn up and we do the things that we know we're good at we'll be competitive um, you know and, that, and that's what we'll be we'll look to be competitive we'll look to have good key moments in the game we'll look to deliver in those moments like we did against Hull and you know we'll go in with the confidence that we want to expect a, a result from it and a positive result from it but you know, at the end of the day, it's 11 v 11 when the whistle goes. So we have to step up to those those challenges, those individual unit battles, and we have to come out on top. And it's pretty simple with that. And that, that's that's the game. That's 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 the game that we're in. And um, like I said, they need to win. Uh, so it'll be you know I think it'll be a brilliant atmosphere, a brilliant game because of that edginess about it. And I, I can't wait for it. Another opportunity is to see as well under the lights here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. I think when we spoke before, kind of this cluster of games that we spoke about at the Eagle Park, um, you know, the excitement that was there for us to be able to deliver and perform uh, on a stage like this in front of family and friends. I always talk about creating memories for the players. That's really important because they'll never forget those times. Uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get some good support again. Um, that'll help us through it. But really, like I said, and I've said before, these are the occasions we want. This is the environment we want to try and be involved in and be a part of on a consistent basis. Um, but we have a part to play in that. And um, you know, I've said this to the, to the squad and to the staff that you know, we have to lead by example of what we want to be as a group and as a club. And um, you know, we have to act in a certain way where we're we're stepping up to that challenge of what playing out on a on a um, an arena like that means and comes with. Um, so there's accountability on our part as well. Um, I'm really thankful that we're able to do it. I'd love to play on those arenas every every single week. Um, and hopefully, if we can just continue to progress and grow, then no reason why we can't aspire to be that way. So, listen, great, great occasion for us all. Great for the players because it is all about the players and creating those memories and, and, and good times. And hopefully, a good performance will really support that.